Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we are going to talk about gold panning. The running water in a river can cause deposits of gold to form. In the riverbed on the neighboring inundation plains are the banks of the river. These are known as a gold pleasure deposits and they have been mint for hundreds, if not thousands of years. The most basic kind of gold placing gold placer mining is the using a prospector's pen to swirl sediment filled water so that unwanted sediment spills out to leave bits of gold behind. This method is based on the fact that gold is heavier than typical sediment. This concept is the foundation for all placer mining techniques. There are two different but not distinct kinds of gold placer deposits. Shallow gold placers are generally within or close to existing rivers and are not blocked by other deposits. Deep level placers are buried underneath debris or solid stone. The rivers that develop these deposits may have been pushed into other channels by substantial shift in the geography of the surrounding area. Gold in these deposits can appear near the surface in riverbeds or spread throughout the thickness of a stratum. Usually, however, gold is found in the lowest portion of superficial beds, uh, just above bedrock. The next is the mining process. Before a placer mining operation can begin, the first task is to identify where drainage has deposit, deposited gold into sediment layers. To locate a, a deposit, prospectors use pans to evaluate the surface materials on dry land. Surface material may be loosed well with a pick and shovel, and then washed for panning. If panning yield uh, evidence of a placer in the past, prospectors may have to note a horizontal uh, to identify the richest area. This approach is known as a drift meaning. These tunnels were normally dug in a winter because frozen ground was a much less likely to collapse on miners. Then, in warm weather, a deforesting area of cold rich gravel known as a pay drift could be processed. If water entered the shaft uh, during drift mining, it was drawn out by a bucket. Unless it came into fast, then uh, the claim was abandoned. The next is extracting gold. While prospector span can be used to spare gold from sediment, it isn't uh, the most effective approach. A sluice spark uses the power of flowing water to make a, for a faster process, typically around 3 meters long, 0.5 meters wide, and less than 25 centimeters deep. A sluice spark has a series of ripples in the bottom that agitate a slurry of water and gravel to extract extract uh, gold particles and nuggets. A stream of water is uh, passed through uh, the box to cause the light of waste material to spill out from one end. A trommel uh, is a rotating metal cylinder set at a slight incline with a screen at the bottom end. Lifter bars are located inside the tube. To start the process materials from the plater are fed into the upper, uh, upper end of the device. Water, which is usually pressurized, uh, is then fed into the apparatus and the combination of flowing water and mechanical agitation works to free gold containing bits of uh, ore. The ore that uh, passes through is then further refined in sluices and other devices. To extract as much as possible, gold placer miners have added mercury to sluice boxes, gold and mercury chemical uh, bond to create an amalgam which makes uh, for a much higher extraction rate. After removing the amalgam from a sluice box, it is heated in a crucible, breaking the amalgam and turning mercury into a vapor. The gold can be liquefied uh, to get rid of impurities. Due to ecological concerns, most legal large-scale of gold mining operations do not use mercury. However, at least operation and those in developing countries are known to use it. I think that's all the information that I can share to you. I hope it can help you. You can also watch another video with another topic in this channel. Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.
Bye-bye.